To demonstrate the backward annotation process, we'll record design changes by clicking the ECO Toolbar button. Next, we'll set our ECO options to write changes to a file, as is already selected here, and we'll also choose to write the changes to file after closing the ECO Toolbox. For this demonstration, we'll renumber our components by clicking the Auto Renumber button in the ECO Toolbar. In the Auto Renumber dialog, We'll accept the defaults and click OK. Pads layout then changes the numbering of components in the design. Click the ECO toolbar icon to close the toolbar. At this point, Pads layout writes the component numbering changes to file. In the XDX Designer Link dialog, we'll click the Backward from PCB button to set our backward annotation options. For this example, we'll choose the option for using the existing changes that have already been written to file. We'll also choose to send all change data back to the schematic. Then we'll clear the Pause Before Updating Schematic checkbox and click OK. At the Warning dialog, we'll click Yes to confirm. The Process Indicator dialog indicates the backward annotation progress. When the process finishes, we'll click Close. The schematic has now been updated with changes made in pads layout.